Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Lord of the Rings Online. I'm Drake Adams, and we're Nillin. And we're in a place you probably haven't seen yet, or at least you haven't seen on this Let's Play. You have probably have seen it if you played the game before, but we are in a undermine mountain area called Sarnor. Uh, this is a place kind of near Thorns Hall, near all the dwarves, and there's some uh, evil dwarves here. And uh, what I did at the end of last episode was, I was like, alright, well, gotta just kill a bunch of things and get our legendary weapon up to rank 10, which I have just now done. See, uh, we're 10 out of 40. We have to go reforge it here. I got this, yeah. Legendary item needs uh, to be reforged. So it took a little longer than I realized it would. After our first couple kills, when we jumped up from like rank 1 to 3, like immediately, I was like, oh, this is going to be super quick. I'll do a quest or two and we're good. It actually took kind of a lot of kills. So I decided um, we are going to need a lot of Thorns Hall rep to get the goat, uh, which they have. I think that's the easiest way to get a goat. And a goat is very useful for getting around Moria. So uh, I went to Sarnor, um, which is near Thorns Hall, so we can go back there to get our legendary weapon upgraded or reforged. And I started killing things for a lot of these rep items here. So they have the Dowerhand Crest for 30 points, which is kind of nothing. But these ones here are amazing. First Age Relics. First Age Relics, 700 points for Thorn Saw. We've seen a lot of 700 point things for a lot of different areas, like in Rivendell, we were getting those for Rivendell rep. This is, I guess, the best place to farm for uh, the Thorn Saw rep. And they're around 46, so you can't really deal this with this area until about now anyways, so most people don't come here until when they're ready for Moria. Look, yeah, we just got first stage relic. Once you're ready for Moria, that's when you can start coming and dealing with these guys. We're a pretty stout uh, warden, so we're able to endure those hits. But yeah, we've been just doing that, running around. Uh, I got, like, I mean, the main idea was to get our weapon leveled up, and I was like, well, if we're going to get our weapon leveled up, we might, might as well kind of have that count doubly towards something and getting some rep. Ooh, wow, we got two just from that. Was, uh, I felt like a good part of the deal. I've actually been wearing the item that halts all of our uh, rep, or um, not, not rep gain, but our experience gain. So I didn't want to have this portion, have, having us level up so quickly, especially when, uh, oh, actually, look, I think that boof, uh, the, the, the boost re wear off. The recognition? Let me see if we leave. I don't know if it's because we're in here. But yeah, I was worried, like, I was like, if we have the the recognition boost and we're just killing things, like, we're going to level up off screen. And I didn't want us to level up at all. We want you guys to be there for most of all the experience that we get in the game. So we've been wearing that. And it looks like, yeah, the, the recognition is off. So for better or for worse, our leveling is going to slow down a lot. Let's uh, kill these three since they're just sitting there. They're just asking for it. And after this, we'll go ahead and get our experience turned back on. And we'll go ahead and uh, get our weapon dealt with. Because we need to go deal with that watcher, the watcher in the pool. So this way, you guys will also be able to see where this area is. Okay, hold on, let's see. Uh, so what was our item that we were wearing? I think it was this here, Mark of the Fellowship. Okay, so our rep is back. We're still at 51. I don't think this is going to be enough to get us um, all the way to Kindred for Thorntall, but it'll get a, get us close. And we'll try to devise some ways to to get the rest of the rep. It may be that we have to come back here um, and just finish it off. Probably, which it might take, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. It goes by faster if we were to team up with people. So I might have to try that. Oh, this looks like a, is this some leader guy. Yeah, chieftain. 
Oh, oh <laughs> level level nine chieftain. So yeah, this is it's weird. This is the the kind of early game like starter area, and then right behind the starter area with all these level sevens is uh, level fifty basically mobs and stuff. So how do we get out of here? I don't know. I think we're gonna be lost. No, we gotta go back that way. Somehow we gotta go this way. So yeah, we'll figure out a way to get our rep up to the to the final point. Actually, this the Moria stuff might. Uh, does this give us Thor and Saul rep? No. If anything, it's gonna give us rep for the Moria guys, which is like the Iron Garrison or something like that. So yeah, we'll have to find a way to get some money. Damn it, it's the same spot that we we're at. I'm thinking um, we did get a lot of hides from. You know, that's when we we might try to sell hides to get money. Use that money to buy more of those rep items because those rep items are pretty expensive. I think we go this way. Okay, did this help? Is this gonna take us out of here? Okay, goodness gracious, that was a sort of a little maze there. Can we go this way? Yeah, that'll work. Nice. See, so, yep. Yeah, uh, we'll figure that out because yeah, trust me, running around Moria is not a party at all. So we're gonna want to get a goat, unless they give us goats for we're just doing the the intro quest now. They didn't before, but it's been such a long time since I played it. I know they've updated a lot of things. They've tried to make things a bit more accessible for players, easier. Uh, which you know, I don't. I like it to some degree. I don't want it too much where it kills the like whole immersion of a game. But I get it if you have some sort of game designs that are a little annoying where yeah, it sends you from point A to point B and then all the way back to point A to grab something and then back to point B. Like Those sort of quests are kind of annoying. So if they can find a way to clean that up, cool. But for the most part, I like things that make it feel like realistic. Like, okay, yeah, we would actually have to struggle and travel to get to the spot. All the teleporting, even though we have our muster skills, and we, we kind of love our, our muster skills. If, if I could just do it to any town that I've ever been to, then that would kind of break the game a little bit, in, like in my opinion. And I like that certain classes have certain abilities and others don't. Like the hunters, they can't travel to any place that they've been, but they've almost, like when, when you're max level, you can basically teleport to all the major cities. They kind of have basically how we get these muster skills, but where we're only getting a couple, they get them almost to all the main spots. And I think they can also buy some. We actually might be able to buy some too, now that I think on it. I wonder, yeah, wardens could probably, if hunters can buy some through rep and stuff, I would, I would imagine the uh, wardens would be able to do that too. So that might be something we'll, we'll look into. See if there's certain regions where we can actually... Uh, by the teleport muster skill. I think we're in the right area. It's really hard to see right now. Wow, yeah, this visibility is almost down to, to, to zero. Okay, here we are back. Not sure, maybe we'll do this uh, rep item stuff. Oh, actually, there's one thing. Uh, okay, is this skirmish? At the skirmish camp, there is a way to get some rep enhancers. But I think they're more expensive than what we have acquired right now. I don't think we've done enough um, group content, raiding content, to buy any of them. But let's take a, a quick look first. It might be curiosities. Oh, okay, yeah, I think this is... Oh, well, oh, we can get... How expensive are these? I mean, it's not that bad. So we might just be able to buy some of these and call it a day. They're, these are more expensive than the other ones, so that's good to know. Um, small rep. Oh, no, we actually can't, can't, can't get these. It's going to cost a lot. It's going to take up all of our medallions. How much does it boost us, though? 1,000? It's not a whole lot. So yeah, it is pretty expensive, but at least we can purchase one, but that'll only just give us an extra thousand. So if we're short by a thousand and we feel that it's necessary, then we'll go for it. 
Let's uh, use these rep items now, though. Let's see how close we get. Okay. 100. We got 3,000. See, yeah, even 100 only gives us 3,000. It's not that much for those small ones. Nice. Now we're at... Let's see, our rep. We are we are a friend now, Thorns Hall. How much? 25 to become an ally. Deed complete. And now this this next round should take us definitely into ally, but I think we're going to be short after that. But let's go ahead and hit that. Hit the 63 first stage relics. 44. Nice. The new deed is to get kindred, and that's our goal. So where are we at now? All right, okay, we only need 10. 10 well, 9. So we only need 9,000 to get a goat. Yeah. I wonder if we can get that right now. Uh, how expensive? I mean, we could spend some some medallions. But no, but then if we spend medallions to get the rep you accelerator. Oh, yeah, because these are only... Yeah, let's get a couple of these here. Let's buy a few of those. Hopefully I didn't buy too many. Okay, now we're still good. Yeah, okay. Perfect, we only need a couple more. It's a good thing we took a look here. I guess this... What do you need? I should have just did this from the beginning. I guess that's why these aren't that uh, all that valuable in the auction house now, because you could just buy them here. But we were still able to sell our well-kept mathems and our trinkets, surprisingly enough. So this is going to give us... Hey, look at that. We got Kindred. Tight. I was expecting that to happen later. I didn't realize they, w they would be sold there for fairly cheap price. Okay. Now, let's go get our goat. I'm pretty sure I remember where the goat is. At least I hope I do. So we'll get our goat. Uh, I love this music. I love the uh, the dwarven music themes. This would definitely be the theme I would use in my dwarf hole. Like, like I don't know what they would call it. Domicile? Their dwarf cave? we were dwarves and we had like a home so I think we can get there up by going this way uh, I would use this song I don't know it's very I don't know homey sounds like things are getting okay can we do it here Let's see what, what kind of rock no these are oh they have some level 50 stuff or level 45 stuff well, that's uh, no that's for okay a jeweler, it looks like. Oh, they have quest. Oh, I could have probably done this, huh? Oh, I probably should have been. If I went here, might you lend me an ear? I think these are quests that happened in Sarmer, so I would have sped it up a bit. Let's go in here. Oh yeah, we we were down here once before. I think this is where we did see the see the goat. Perfect. This feels like it, it was such a long time ago, which probably because it was. So those of you who have been following the Let's Play from the very first episode all the way back then, I thank you. Appreciate you guys going on this journey with me and having a lot of fun. Oh yeah, remember this beautiful scene? And uh, yeah, happy that you guys are staying with us. And now we're going to be seeing some even more fun, fun stuff, Moria. So I think here, right, Athun? Did you need something? Let's see, that's for if you're a dwarf. Ooh, there's some stuff that we can get here. Uh, I mean, we don't really need it, but I guess we'll just get it just to to know it since we're here. And it's a specialty item. Yeah, there it is. Thorin's prized hall goat. It's got a lot of morale. It's not as fast as our horse, but that's fine. Let's get all these things. Do we even have space? I'm surprised we had space. This is for captain things, and we can make it because we're a tailor, but uh, yeah. 
We're probably not going to use it, but at least we'll get it. And then we'll get the goat. We've acquired the goat skill. Okay. Let's see, mounts. Is it there now? Yeah, there it is. Okay, we don't... This isn't really doing much for us. Let's put that there, I, I, I suppose. Let's put the goat there, because we're going to need it. And I might even put it here, since that's our typical quick slot to make us... Oh, but you can... Oh, okay, I was going to say. No, yeah, we can use them anywhere a horse can be used, and then we, can, we, we can also use them in other places, so... Actually, okay, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Just goats aren't, aren't allowed in here. I think they were pooping too much, so... Nice. So we got that part taken care of. Let's see. Hey, look at this run up. Run and jump upstairs. And now to get our weapon dealt with. What is cool, though, that uh, I just realized earlier, too, is this other uh, legendary item that we have. It's actually the javelin and not the spear that we got, so... We're going to have our second item slot filled up rather quickly. And so that worked out. Oh, look at this guy. This is a hunter, huh? Those little leaves there, it's like he's running so fast, he's kicking up leaves. Okay. We go over here. That's where uh, we'll we'll get our weapon worked on. We can destroy all this crap. And then we'll be ready to go on and 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 take on the Watcher. Part two of the Watcher. Okay. Greetings. You have done very well. Your weapon has advanced to an impressive level indeed. Will you help me? Now that your weapon has reached the tenth level of advancement, a forge master can reforge it for you, revealing hidden strengths and abilities. Perhaps your weapon holds within it uh, the strength needed to face the creature that lurks within the pool. You should bring it to the forge master for reforging in order to see if it is so. So, forge master. At your service, and your family. Can I identify this yet? No, it's not going to let me do that yet, but I can reforge this one. So, reforge. Oh, we can give it a name, too, huh? Uh, let's see. Select the legacy on that you would like to add. Shield, spear, gambit, power cost? Okay. Is that just both of them, or one of them? Shield, spear, or critical... Strike damage. Oh, oh! Critical strike, critical damage. So it's just—it's not the only. So it's this one, and it's the crit damage. That one sounds kind of good. Minor tier, minor tier four. I guess. Uh, so this has minor tier four, so it's going to be less expensive to power up this one. Just minor tier two. But power's never really been an issue for us, so we'll go with the just the, the more damage. Okay. See, forged, revealing what powers. That has done it, Nilan. The reforging of your weapon has revealed it to be a very high quality indeed. You must return to Holin at once and show Rothwald, the dwarf at the crumbling arch near Eka Dunan. Show him that you wield a great weapon. Surely it will give the dwarves of this company newfound hope. Go at once, friend. Kaza Doom awaits. So let's see if our way. Okay, out here. So we have 90 available points. Let's load them back up on our damage, our, our DPS. And we have a couple more. So what's our DPS like now? 5388. Right. Cool. And now we go back to Ekad Dunan. Actually, I do want to sell some stuff. Watch out. Let's cancel that tele teleportation. Let's sell some things here. What do you need? Let's repair all. Don't want to sell our old gear just yet. I mean, we might need it for some DPS. But what about the tree stuff that we were killing? 
Um, okay, there you go. Branches, 60 silver. Okay. Oh, there you go. Oh, and there was actually one item. Actually, let's uh, hop on our goat. <laughs> and there's a goat herder deed. Let's see. Oh, okay. So if you get all these different <laughs> goat herd, <laughs> if you get all these goats, then you get a a deed for it. I found one rare item drop, a couple rare item drops, uh, while doing the Sarnar stuff. I don't know if people really buy these mid-level armor pieces. But it seemed kind of cool, so I might just go put it up on Auction House, see what happens. I don't know, it's probably rather rare. Let's see if anyone has one up on, in the Auction House already. Let's see, Harrenthal. Almost like Harrenthal. Yeah, it doesn't look like anyone's posted it. I don't know what value it would have. We could put it up for for one gold. See what happens. We 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 may fa find someone who's uh, low level, but that likes to role play and they like go a, a, take a long time to level up. Then maybe they might be interested. Well met. Let's see. Exceptional highs. We still have a lot of exceptionals. Okay, we're good. Let's go ahead and port now. Well, look at this guy. This guy looks like Philip from The Witch. A little bit bigger. With Black Philip. <laughs> oh man, it looks it looks gloomy. Which I guess is fitting for what we're about to go. Whoa. Okay. So <laughs> dude, I didn't even see you. Alright, hold on. Let me check. So we got our weapon. It's good. We don't have anything else. Alright. Let's get back in there. Let's join the fight. Perhaps there is still hope. Welcome back, Nellan. Did that weapon of the Elder Days prove worthwhile, or was it a fruitless chase? Rothwell's eyes widened in surprise. This weapon has become even more powerful in your hands. Surely now we have the strength to stand against the horror in that fetid pool. We will reclaim the lost halls of Kazadum. Teal armor piece, okay. This weapon may be what we need to drive off the Watcher in the water, Nilin, and allow the dwarves to enter Moria. Speak to me when you are ready and I will bring you to Bosi and Broger. They will be pleased to see that there is hope again at last. Let's do it. I hope you know what you are doing, friend. Are you ready? I will bring you to Bosi so that he may be heartened by the mighty weapon that has returned from the depths of time. This may be the advantage we need to wreak vengeance upon the Watcher in the water for the death of Broin and the others that, other lives that it claimed today. Super Dyer is the creature called the Watcher in the water by the dwarves, an ancient evil called forth by the Dark Lord. Perhaps through the power of legend, a way can be seen past the terror. Frau creature that watches from within the depths of the pool will feel the sharp bite of your weapon and be afraid. Stride forth and teach it a lesson it will it will uh, long in forgetting. Do this not just for the sake of Khazad Doom, but for the memory of Broin, taken by that fell creature. My nephew deserved a better fate than to die in that thing's grasp. When you have driven off or slain the creature, we will be unopposed and may walk into Moria unhindered. One of my dwarves has gone ahead to scout for the beast. So look for him and be watchful. But it's really, it's just our spear that has been turned into a legendary item. So uh, I feel like our shouts and our javelins shouldn't hurt it still. But we'll see what happens. May Durin return soon to his halls. There are ripples in the water, but I do not see the beast. Be on your guard, for it may attack without warning, as unlucky Broin learned at his peril. Beast returns, look out! Oh! Dang, Bosi. Dang, they just messed him up. Okay, well now he's taking hell. Ah! 
I can't get, get close enough to actually hit him with melee attack. Oh gosh. I don't know if like what I'm doing is doing it. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, more? Uh, do we just keep doing this, or...? Okay. okay, okay, cool. More, more coming. Cousin, what are you doing here? Man, they took him, too. I was like, I, like, uh, do we stop fighting, or do we, do we keep going? No, no longer will I cow to my grief. Nay, I will avenge my son in battle, and woe to this creature that took him from me. Okay, so I have to protect him. Okay, so we have to keep him alive. He doesn't have that much health. Uh -huh. He has 5,000. Okay. Let's, let's, let's try to grab his attention. Oh, get out of the water! Another falls, but this is another knock. She has a, an unlimited amount of arms. At least we have AOE attack. Let's just go ahead and switch to our assailment stance. That makes sense. No, come back. My vengeance is not satisfied. We have done it, Nilan. We have driven the Watcher from the doors of Durin. And now the dwarves of our expedition may pass into the mines of Moria. The weapons we found have proven the difference, friend. Yes, my dwarves have equipped themselves from the same cache, and the creature has learned to fear the sharp bite of the iron garrison. You have avenged my nephew Broin as well, and all the dwarves who have been lost to this creature. It retreats now through the dark passages. May its writhing, reeking arms never trouble us again. Cannot thank you enough for this, Nilan. Not only have you driven out the beast that kept us out of Moria, but you have avenged my son as well. I will never forget your great service to me, and will always be in your debt and at your service. Broing spoke often of combat and great heroics. He would have marveled at your battle with the fierce Watcher. Okay, nice. We must return now to the rest of the expedition. Um, and tell them what what you have accomplished and that we may now pass into the mines of Moria. Nice. Okay. We will reclaim the lost halls of Khazadum. The rest of the dwarves have entered Moria in search of fortune, and we have you to thank for it. It's funny, we, we get this after just upgrading all of our armor, but that's fine. There's, so there's two medium armors. We have a might vitality one. We have agility. It's the uh, Lilith's armor, but there we go. We get a bunch of agility back, more vitality, crit. Yes, yeah, so this is just a altogether better item. Perhaps there is still hope. So that's helpful in getting our agility back up. Kind of curious to see how this looks. Oh, not that cool, but not bad. Tolk is waiting to speak with you just inside the doors of Durin. But you remember him, don't you? He is pleased that you proved such a boon to the expedition and will be delighted to speak with you again. Oh, okay. Oh, so here we're, we're actually going to get the other, the other item. And so it was that the Iron Garrison passed the doors of Durin and entered the dark of Moria. But they were not the first to brave the mines. Nor will they be the last.
Oof, that was some little cutscene there. Yeah, watch out for that Balrog. It's a, <laughs> it's quite a vicious monster, as I found out. So let's see, Seeker of Dark Places. Here we go, we're entering Moria. I'm excited, I'm excited. Let's go. New D, the Great Delvin. Okay. A lot of different uh, things that we're getting. We've discovered this. Okay, in the footsteps of the Fellowship. Ooh, honor is a good one, I think. Tactical mitigation, mentality. Okay, so here we are. Ooh, let's go ahead and get this stable right away. Yeah, there you go. They got some goats. Welcome to Casa Doom. Go ahead and set this milestone. Let's talk. Kazadoom awaits. Nilin, hello. Here we are inside Kazadoom at last. There's a great deal to be done at the several camps we are establishing here. You can help us to succeed at the mighty task before us. Bosi asked me to reward you for your leadership before the doors. Take this with his sinks, and those of the entire Iron Garrison. So here's the other item for all the other classes. Well, that's a lot of classes. These all... Wow, yeah, they have a lot of classes. And here's our Warden's Javelin of the Third Age. The dwarves will prevail! Yeah, and okay, yeah, there's the legendary item experience for quests now that we're going to start getting. There's so much work to be done, Nilan, here and elsewhere in the mines. This has been a great victory for the Iron Garrison, but this is only the beginning of our toils beneath the mountains. We must aid our people here at Durin's Threshold and at our other encampments if we are to have victory in Khazad-dûm. When you have performed some of the tasks here in Durin's Threshold, you should seek for the Dolven View and for the Deep Descent. Speak to Bent Sharp Eye at the Dolven View to the east of here and to Thetad Mar at the Deep Descent among the Silvertine Loads. They will have ways for you to assist the Iron Garrison. Okay, so there's some quests actually. Let's go ahead and equip this. Oh, we can't equip it just yet, huh? We, we must identify it first. Can we identify it here? We cannot. I think we can if we go back, right? I want to identify this right away. I want my XP. Can we swift travel to Eka Dunan? The House of Duri of course will live forever. Darn it. Um... So yeah, so that one leveled up again. Deed bestowed. Ooh, okay, complete the books and we get a class trait point. Oh, actually, oh my god. I think we have a class trait point that we haven't used yet. <laughs> oh man. There we go. We have a point available, so let's uh, see what we can do for our blue line here. Uh, yeah, more morale tap damage. I think we were u utilizing that. Skill that drain the enemy of morale and heal the warden are, are more potent. Let's go ahead and do that. Nice. And let's go to the red line. And I think we are, we're just going to finish off this light type damage. Close are all of our shouts. Let's go ahead and finish off that part. That part. Uh, okay. Let's see here. Let's let's talk if to, to Thorma. We are first have to deal with the orcs. Welcome to Moria, Nilan. You join us at a momentous time, and I am master of the expedition here at Durin's Threshold. Other expedition groups have already moved further into the depths of Khazad-dûm, hoping to find Balin's expedition of some years ago and learn of their fate. My fellow dwarves are having a difficult time setting in. 
for a number of reasons. If you could assist them, I would be most grateful. Okay, so we have a bunch of quests. But, let's see here. Is there a swift way for us? There probably isn't. I think we're going to always have to make this long run, but I do want to get our other weapon identified and powered up. We could do a little horse action. The horse action... Okay, this is our, our red line, so the goat isn't on our quick travel. So we're going to have to put him there too. And let's see, what speed is he? Is that 62? So yeah, let's go ahead and swap them. Make that our typical swift travel option. Just because uh, when we're in uh, Moria, we're, oh, we're going to be activating that a lot. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's get this uh, jab. I think we, so both of them, let's see, 70, 116, 71, 119. Oh, because it's uh, 52, level 52. It's one level higher. Well, we can see which one uh, has a better set of skills for us. But as of now, um, this is the only one that we can equip. So we're, we're, we're going to go ahead and equip that. So there we are. We are we are now in more in Moria. Only at the f the first part of the mine. So there's obviously going to be a big big area for us to discover and quest in. Well, I want to make sure we're not wasting any experience gained, uh, not leveling up our our things. So uh, how do we? Oh my gosh, it is very hazy. Can we survive this? Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Oof. Okay, sorry. I In a way, I guess dying wouldn't have been that bad. It probably would have uh, poured us out to <laughs> where we want to be anyways. We should be close. Okay, there. Just close to Eka Dugan. And now the fun part comes of how we want to power up our weapon. Taking a look at the legacies that are going to be best for it. I'm not... I don't know all the legacies. Actually, I don't really know any of the legacies of a warden, so... Uh, we'll, we'll be analyzing things a bit and seeing what, what works best for us. Is there no one here that can look at our stuff? Oh, come on. Is there anyone at other places? Let's see here... There should be some identification that shows us. Item Master. Uh, so the Item Master is going to be all the way at Miro Bell. Well, then I guess th that is our road. That's good. Uh, we will be able to unlock that uh, stable. So I think that'll, that'll, that would then be all the stables unlocked for this area. Check out this thing here. Let's look at the damage compared. So right now, the Warden's Agonizer, which is a really strong weapon, only has like one damage tick above our, like what we have right now. So when we power that fully up, should be doing a lot more damage. And we might be able to add some other stats and stuff to it. It's kind of a bummer that it's so gloomy right now. Since we haven't been over to this uh, area before, I would have liked to have seen what it looks like. As of right now, it's just like... It's kind of how, like, things looking like, you know, f maybe 5 in the morning waking up super early to go to school back in the day. Just be like, oh my gosh, it's so hazy waking up like this. See, there was a baddie over there. 
I think this is the continuation of that dry riverbed. If I'm not mistaken. Okay, there's some more wargs. Level 51. That's pretty strong. Ooh, I think that might be it coming up. Something off in the distance. Uh, no, I mean, almost there. Yeah, it might be. It's either this or that. <laughs> Look at our goat. <laughs> Look at this guy. This guy moves, huh? Like, what do they feed this thing? If you guys say goat cheese, then I'm done. Uh, Alright. Ooh. Do these guys give... They give pages. Uh, I think they Let's stay focused. Stay focused. We have that one final page that we can't seem to get. One, I want some more skill points. The more points we get, the better we are. So... It's important to finish up those loose ends where we're missing those points. Okay, how do we get to this place? Uh, okay, we gotta probably go to the road there. Oh, okay, careful. Nice. Okay, now entering Mirabelle, so that means we should be close to that, to that town. Uh, let's see, where are you? Gloomy, gloomy day. Okay, there, oh, is this a bridge? There we go. Pretty extravagant bridge, actually. I mean, it's all run down, but it was like, I, I, like uh, one day, at one point, it was probably a pretty magnificent thing. It's over here. Anything? Nothing? Okay. We'll continue up. Uh, maybe we go up this way. Let's take a look at the map. Yeah. When in doubt, always go higher. That's what I always say. Although, once we start adventuring in Moria, I guess that we're going to have to kind of flip that and say, when in doubt, always go lower. There we go. We have discovered Ekad Mirabel. What's this? Something glowing? <laughs> the, go the goat, whenever you hop off and hop on, the goat's great. Okay. Who's this person? What do you have? Okay, so, oh, someone's in here. How can I be of service? Oh, cool, we have a quest. Ooh, I don't want to activate this one because there's experience. Let's, uh, let's deal with our weapon first and then we'll cash that in. Wherever one deals with their weapon. It is over here, right? Let's turn around. Okay. Let's go back. Might have missed it. It better not be sealed off to us until we've like done some sort of quest or something. I will be sad. Oh no, I think it's over here because I see um, stables. Okay. Let's know. Let's not die. Wow, did we miss all that? Perfect. So hit that. What do you need? Okay, so we got that. Actually, let's check the the, the warden. See if he has anything. Now that we're level 50. Uh, don't... Have we not already done this one? Oh, maybe it wasn't available to us? No, I think we've already purchased these. Right? Or is it like a whole new set of class things? I'm gonna get this. If this, uh, let's see what happens. For uh, Marvelous Adventures, starts class D that will be consumed upon purchase. Oh, Yeah, I think we do did already do it. I thought like it, it, it would have been read it out if we've already activated it. We just wasted all that money. We can't do that. Wait, what? Is this thing stuck in my inventory now forever? Okay. Ooh, I was like, yo, don't make this stuck. 
Okay, I don't think he has anything good for us. And oh, these spike things are interesting. There's some carving. Yeah, I guess nothing great. Okay, so here we go. Relic Master, Forge Master. Make of Anand. Forge Master should be uh, able to identify this now. Perfect. Let's see. In the fray, morale regen. Fist Gambit critical rating. Ooh, that's pretty good. Fist Gambit evade. I like that. Okay. Ooh, that's really good. These are major tier 5? Major tier 5? Whoa. And let's see what's up with this. This is the level 52 one. Major tier three, two, and three. Fist, fist gambit critical. Fist gambit buff duration. That one's pretty good too. But I like, I like ours are. Our first one had f all like five and sixes, which is pretty amazing. So let's equip that. Obviously, we don't. Oh, we, we need to go get another. Um, I'm sure they're gonna have it in Moria, but we need like another title. Uh, the uh, title thing that gives our dam like a little damage type to our weapon because right now our javelin is now just uh, what common damage we want to increase that but this is really good this identified really well I mean I think fist gambits are our shout shouts and we do that all the time so let's what see here need? our enemies to the south grow bold we must endure so many foes in this land but I think your efforts uh, with your efforts, these tasks will prove less painful than they have in the past. The arrival of this delivery does not weigh more heavily upon me rather than inspires me to greater hope. We know now that the White Hand has intentions for the school at Than Myrdang, so we can set a task to focus upon them. Thank you for showing me this message. You have acted rightly. There we go. So it's a good thing that we did that. See, how much did we level up to? Just in that. I think, yeah, level four. So we went from that to four. This is what it level. Okay, so that it, that, that go to no. Okay, so the other one leveled up. So that's good for us. Perfect. Uh, let's increase the the damage for this one. Okay. All right. So we got our uh, our two legendary items now. Spear of the third age and javelin of the third age. How does a javelin work? Looks kind of clean. Alright, we are going to end the episode there. We have done it. We have entered the Mines of Moria. When we come back next episode, we'll be back uh, at the uh, Durin's Threshold. And we'll start um, doing what we can to help out around there. Oh, actually, look. The recognition came back. That was weird. It was gone for a while. Huh. Kind of curious about that. Maybe it was off while we put this on? Oh, okay. Yeah, obviously, duh, that would turn it away. I thought, like, you would still see it, but this would just exit saying, like, you just aren't going to get any of that buff. But this is still here, so we still do have this recognition buff. I'm not, not sure how long that's going to go for, but we will have to be cautious of that. Make sure we don't overlevel. But right now, I think we're right on pace. And we're ready to rock and roll with these weapons. So until next time, as always, I have been Dre Gottams. You have been great. And I'll see you next time in the mines. Take care.